Local relief efforts underway also right now. The death toll in Eastern Kentucky as it does continue to rise. A Florence based nonprofit hosting a stuff the bus donation drive to collect supplies for the flood victims. People dropping off those essential items for those in need. Water, bedding, food. They, these people lost everything. WLWT News 5's Natalie Clark live there in Florence with the ongoing recovery efforts taking place throughout the day. Natalie. Hey there, Kelly. Actually, we moved to Matthew 25 Ministries and we tried to grab them live as they left to head to Eastern Kentucky, but we just missed them. Our timing was just a little bit off, but they've got a team of six people heading there right now to take a variety of items that are very much needed to the victims of that devastation there in Eastern Kentucky. And they have panel trucks, pickup trucks, all of them loaded with just a variety of items from personal care products and cleaning supplies to first aid and safety supplies as well as baby items where those impacted um, will definitely be able to take uh, advantage of these items that are coming their way. They're also taking a Tides Loads of Hope mobile unit where they can also have their laundry done there. A Duracell power forward pickup truck allows residents a charging station for their phones. And again, while they're there, I'm told that this team will talk with uh, partners there in that area to discuss ongoing needs because as you know, they're going to be rebuilding from this devastation for a long time. It's not only gonna take a lot of help, but it's going to take a lot of time. Now the team of six will remain in Kentucky for at least a week, possibly even up to two weeks for this trip. Matthew 25 Ministries, of course, still collecting much needed items, personal items, mops, cleaning supplies, things of that nature. You can still donate. They're also looking for volunteers to help sort through those items that will be taken to Kentucky. Reporting live, Natalie Clark, WLWT News 5. Natalie, quick question here. I know people are going to want to help here. Ways in which they can uh, help here, in, in addition to some of the volunteers that are being asked for, it sounds like they're needing everything right now. They are, Colin. And you know, when I was just talking quickly to one of the uh, employees here, he basically said every day the needs change. Every time they move uh, a day further, the needs change. Right now are those personal care items along with uh, doing their laundry, things of that nature. They'll definitely be able to take advantage of that. And then he also said the cleaning supplies, that's huge down there right now. Mops, cleaning supplies, buckets, things of that nature. But he said the needs will constantly change. All right, Natalie Clark reporting live for us. Natalie, thank you for bringing us that side of the story there. Rescue crews from Ohio are offering a helping hand to our neighbors. Ohio Task Force One has been conducting search and rescue operations in Jackson, Kentucky. They say an additional 29 members, including four search canines, arrived over the weekend, bringing the team total to 45 people. The task force leader says his team says the water levels are receding, revealing the magnitude of the damage. He says the team continues to perform phenomenally and remain in good spirits. And if you want to help the flood victims in eastern Kentucky, scan this QR code with your smartphone for more information, or you can also go directly to WLWT.com to find ways that you can help. New at noon, an arrest has been made in connection to a deadly shooting that left one man dead. According to reports, the incident occurred around 3 a.m. last night. Police responded to a shooting at a Stanley Row apartment complex. On uh, arrival there, they found 44-year-old Aaron Zander shot a family member of former Cincinnati Mayor Mark Mallory. He was taken to the hospital but did not survive the injuries he sustained. Officers have arrested 37-year-old Ranisha McCray in connection with his death here. McCray has been charged with murder. Now, if you're planning to cross the roadway this week, heads up, you might be met with some closures if you're trying to do that. An inspection begins today and lasts through the 10th. That's next Wednesday. The bridge will close periodically as crews move equipment. Closures could happen between 9 and 11.30 a.m. and then 1.30 to 3 p.m. It could last up to an hour. One pedestrian walkway will be closed throughout.